All right, this is my timber. So I'm just going to show you how I have mine set up inside the timber. I got the wings off so you can get a good look inside there. This is my Stab Plus receiver. I'm going to turn this thing this way. All right, so inside my uh, timber, this is pointing towards the front of the airplane. So I set mine up according to the manual. I got this thing sitting flat on a flat surface. The pins from my connectors are all at the back of the airplane, pointed towards or facing the back of the airplane. I got my dip switches in here. I don't know how well you can see them, if you can tell, but switches four and five are turned on. One, two, and three are off. Four and five are on, and six is off. So I have no trouble with the uh, stabilizer reversing any of my commands on here. And I just have your basic airplane setup, and that's how it is. I don't know if you can tell, but I have no connections in here where channel 5 is. Channel 5 is free, because that's what this thing needs to operate, is channel 5. So I, I couldn't be running my flaps on channel 5, because my switch on the radio to operate the servo is using channel, or to operate the stabilizer, that is using channel 5. But that's how it's set up, and it's got the diversity antenna in there. This is the uh, push button I was talking about. It doesn't have that connector on there for a satellite antenna. It's got a little push button, LED lights for the operation. Everything else is the same as that satellite receiver. Yes. This is the uh, <clears throat> how I have the thing set up in my Waco. The uh, pots, the three pots for adjusting the gains. Yeah, it can be a little difficult to get into there with some jeweler screwdrivers, but I have the uh, DX8 Generation 2 transmitter that has a knob on it, so I can adjust the gains on my transmitter just using the knob. You can see the open contacts there. That is spot channel 5. I, am not, I don't have any plugs, any servo plugs in channel 5 because that is for my stabilizer and the uh, safe mode. This is switch, uh, switch number F on a DA DX8 Generation 2. I have used this one. This is where I have my channel 5 selected to for operating the gyro. And I'm using a default setting. So right now it's in the off. The middle stability mode. is stability mode. Safe mode. The far position is safe mode. That's the default setting for the Value receiver mode. as well. Because I did this because on all of my airplanes, regardless what I have, whether I have an AS3X, an E-Flight airplane, whether I have an airplane with an Eagle Tree Guardian, which my other timber has, or an airplane with this Lemon Stab Plus, they all use the same switch and they all use the same position. So I don't have to, I won't get confused from airplane to airplane. All the way up is always off. Unless it's AS3X. AS3X is going to be on. Stability mode. Middle position is stab mode. Or still AS3X if you've got one of those. And the bottom position safe is mode. safe mode at every one of these uh, stabilizers. Manual mode. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off while I power up the airplane. It's not really necessary to turn it off. Just something I do. Radio's on. Now, the Lemon Stab Plus receiver, it takes nine seconds to initialize. So once you plug this thing in, you have nine seconds for this thing to feel itself out and initialize. If you want to do a level, uh, reset the level, which you can do on this receiver, you can reset the level within the first nine seconds while it's initializing you take that switch on your transmitter for your gyro and you cycle it full throw all three positions rapidly as many times as you can for two seconds i think technically it's looking for uh six position changes and you get three positions on each switch It'd be uh, once up and once down, but they want you to do it as many times as you can in two seconds just to ensure that you've done it and then let it go 
and for the rest of the nine seconds of initializing it will use that location as your new level so if you want it I could put this thing on a block if I wanted to and block it up so it's more level and then when I plug this battery in I would cycle that switch several times for two seconds and hands off and it would establish this as a new level I'm not going to bother with that I already have my level put in so I'm just going to plug it in and hands off it so it can it can do its thing in just about nine seconds there you go it's fully functional right now now unlike some of the other stabilizers sometimes I get uh, the different ones confused this one here you do not have to have the throttle advanced for the stabilizer to initialize the moment this thing uh, times itself out if I put that in the stabilization mode stabilizer is going to work doesn't matter where the throttle is okay stabilizer is turned off on my radio so I'm going to go ahead and put this thing on just so it doesn't sit in the way I can pick this thing up, move it around. Yeah, stabilizer is doing nothing. This is just free throw with the uh, normal flight controls. Left turn, and that's left turn, right turn. Yep, that's how it works. Up is up, down is down. Left rudder, right rudder. Very good. Set her back down here. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn the stabilizer on. One of the things I do is I turn my gains up full just for that check. So I will have full throw on, a, on the stabilizer because my gains are max. Right now my gains are in the center position. And I can move this thing but the motion is so gentle. If I roll it to the... So I'm going to turn the gain all the way up. It'll, it'll deflect more. So when I roll this thing to the right, the aileron should give me a left aileron deflection. And it does. When I roll this thing to the left, the aileron should give me a right deflection. And it does. This aileron goes down, thus lifting the wing. It's very easy to confuse that direction when you're staying in front of the airplane because you're moving the nose down, you're moving the tail up, and you're, when you're as old as I am, your brain gets confused of what it's expecting to see on the elevator. And if you're just going through this in a hurry, you can very easily think you're seeing the elevator making the correct motion when it's not. Just like with the ailerons, you can easily think you're looking at the right deflection when you're not. You actually have to stop Pay attention to where the nose is going of the airplane and what the elevator is actually doing to determine whether your stabilizer is deflecting properly. But now we're going to do SAFE and SAFE will definitely give you a, a clearer presentation. Take a look and see what happened the other day when I was, when I was doing the same video here with Captain Chaos Canada. He was holding his camera. He was holding the camera while I was moving the airplane. Selected, so... Yeah, but if you put it on that safe, then you would see that, right? Yep, so now I'm going to then, safe. Yeah, now it, that's the better way to, to, see, All right. to see it because it will stay. This is, the safe blow right now is in level position. See how mm -hmm. the airplane's level. If I go ahead and I drop the nose down. There you go, and that's the, to see. The elevator is going to pitch down and try to force my nose. Is that going in the right direction? No. You, you, you're gonna, yeah, it is. That's perfectly. Now you can show the dip switch stuff. Yeah, it is reversed. Isn't that crazy? Well, that's perfect for the video. Now you can switch that dip switch, and it should be fine. That's all it you do. 
Okay. I didn't lose flying the other day. Try the rudder. But anyway, the rudder. One sec. It doesn't. Yeah. Oh, oh no, it's only. Yeah, it uh, do that. It's only the two axes. Right. And, Gale and rods. That's correct. Yeah. That would level it, and yeah. the other way around too. Well, oh, one second. Let's do that one slowly one more time. So that's fine. It would lift the wing up to, yeah. and if the wing goes up, it would try to force it down. That that's correct. the correct. It's just the elevator. Right. The elevator is reversed. The that's uh. All of a sudden. That's so. <laughs> Mark All right. has a chance to We're show if he right was now. explaining it right. So do the dip switch thing. The dip switch thing should take care of that. Just need to remember which one it was. Yes. Real quick. By the way, we're live in Huju's man cave. Yes. While you try to connect the battery, I'll show a little bit of your stuff. <laughs> That's the secret spot. Nobody has to know that there are <laughs> airplanes in these boxes. That's why he has other boxes in front of it. Hope his wife can't hear me. <laughs> and there's more stuff. Hey! This guy has a thing for EDFs, eh? Blue Angel Freak. And the timber compartment. Okay, let's go back. I think he beeped enough. All right, let's see what your work has done if the elevator is correcting the right way now. Okay, we're running. All right, so what I did was I took the number two switch that was in the off position, which is elevator, and I just switched it over to on. And that would reverse the stabilizer throw for the elevator. For the elevator. All right. Put her in a safe uh, stabilization mode, right? Safe mode. Wait, right now, it's I called. believe it is in safe. Okay, we will see. Let me just zoom in here a little. Got so, the elevator now. Gotta fly, okay. I'm gonna it, put it's, the nose it, down. It's, it's not focused. One second. I can move it out. No, 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 no. no. It's me here. Was, I don't know why the camera. Okay, now it's sharper. So let's move her. Nose down. Yeah, and now she wants to get her up and do the other way. Okay, and that is all done with the help of that little dip switch. All done with the help of that switch. Okay. <laughs> I thought about why that did not give me a problem in stability mode when I was flying around. Even in that last video, if you're listening to the transmitter, I put that in stability mode quite a bit. And I flew around without a problem. The only explanation that I could come up with was because I have my gain set at about 50% for my sta stabilizer. And while flying around in the stabilization mode, even though the gyro is giving me opposite commands that it wanted for the elevator, I was still flying with the sticks. I was still flying with the sticks. So the minimal control that this stabilizer was giving me through my gains was constantly being overridden with my flying it with the sticks. That's the only reason I can think of is that I didn't notice during flight that there was a problem with that reverse channel. Now, had I decided at some point to get it up in the air and put the airplane in an unusual attitude and test out my safe, I don't believe I've done that yet on this airplane. I've only flown this thing like five or six times. Had I done that, now that would have been a problem, that reversed elevator channel. That would have been a real problem because this thing would not have been able to correct it to level because it would have been deflecting opposite on the elevators to what it wanted to do and more than likely would it cause a crash <laughs> so for uh anybody who's had that problem crashing this airplane or crashing one of their airplanes with this lemon stab plus receiver in there when they went to level or safe mode but it didn't do any harm when they were flying it in stabilization mode it may very well be that you have a backwards channel in the gyro and you just don't have enough gain dialed in for in the stabilization mode to where it shows itself while you're flying. But if you put it in safe and let your hands off, it will definitely reveal its ugly head. So that's all I have guys and thanks for watching and I hope this helps.